Hey guys, welcome to what I hope to be the advent of a series of medios. Get it? Medios? Because med, medicine, videos, medios, no? Okay. In this video, I'll be talking about Kleinfelter syndrome, but before I get into Kleinfelter syndrome, we have to discuss the basics of genetics. So you ready? All right, so genetics. Typically, every cell in your body has 46 chromosomes, 23 pairs. Um, my AP bio teacher put it this way. If you think of all your DNA as a book, that would be called the genome. Every chapter would be called a chromosome. Every sentence would be called a gene. Every word would be a codon. And every letter would be a nucleotide base. The first 44 chromosomes are called autosomal chromosomes because I, I don't know why. They're just called autosomal chromosomes. The last two are called sex-linked chromosomes because they determine your sex. If you have an XX, you are a female. If you have an XY, then you are a male. I now Kleinfelter syndrome. Kleinfelter syndrome is caused by trisomy 23, which means the 23rd pair of chromosomes has three chromosomes rather than the typical two. This is caused by an error in meiosis. I'm not going to get into meiosis because it was never my strong suit. Then again, what are my strong suits? But anyways, I attached the link down below to a video by the Ami Ami Amoeba sisters. I mean the sisters, that describes meiosis. Only males are targeted with Kleinfelter syndrome, and instead of the 23rd pair being XY, they have XXY. In some even more extraordinary cases, they have more than one extra X chromosomes. So they can be XX, XY. That's two extras, yeah. And so on. This is called poly X Kleinfelter syndrome. Statistically, one in 500 males have one extra X chromosome. One in 50,000 males have two extra X chromosomes. One in 85 to 100,000 males have three extra X chromosomes. There are a plethora of symptoms that one may experience when they have Kleinfelter syndrome. However, I won't be naming them all because then I might as well just be an audiobook for the source I use, which I'm pretty sure is illegal without authorization. So, generally, kids with Kleinfelter syndrome will be slower to develop their motor skills. As they head into puberty, they will likely have smaller, you know, less body hair and weaker bones than that of the typical genetic makeup. An adolescent with Kleinfelter syndrome will also likely develop, start to develop breaths. As someone with Kleinfelter syndrome heads into adulthood, they will likely have trouble reproducing, smaller, you know, lower testosterone levels, and will likely have fully developed breasts, also known as gynecomastia. Kleinfelter syndrome also leads to a lot of learning difficulties. Those affected will likely have trouble learning how to speak, express their thoughts into words, understand what they hear, and will likely have trouble reading. The social facet of symptoms include the tendency to be quieter, more anxious, and less physically active. There are other symptoms that those with poly X Kleinfelter syndrome will experience. However, I will not discuss that because this video is primarily just about the typical Kleinfelter syndrome. Now that we're done with the modeling facet of Kleinfelter syndrome, let's discuss how people treat these symptoms. Those with lower testosterone levels can literally intake testosterone via pills, shots, or by rubbing testosterone gel. This can deepen the voice, increase muscle size, and also strengthen the bones. bones. Those with gynecomastia can option to get a mastectomy which is a special surgery that reduces the size of or removes completely the breasts or one or two. You can do one or both. Those with Kleinfelter syndrome have trouble reproducing because their body is producing an insufficient amount of sperm cells to have a baby the conventional way. However, there's a new surgery that can extract the sperm cell from the, you know, and place it into an egg cell. However, due to genetics, this does significantly increase the chances of the child having Kleinfelter syndrome. For behavior-related symptoms, there are a multitude of therapists that help males with KS interact more, build motor skills, and or, or cope with emotional distress. For educational-related symptoms, the government has programs to help those with KS, but the requirements are quite stringent. In fact, some males with KS will be ineligible if their symptoms are deemed mild. 
Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the disease. Um, just a quick caveat. I am still a high schooler, so while I'm hoping and I'm 99% sure that most of this information is correct, I could very well be wrong. Because I don't have a degree or anything. Or anything. And big shout out to Omni Graphics. They have a whole collection of books called the Health Reference Series that basically told me everything about this video for me to regurgitate back to you guys. If it weren't for them, I'd probably be searching on Google Scholar. So if you want to learn more before using these videos, you guys could definitely check them out. The San Francisco Public Library has a lot of them. Your public library, whatever, wherever it is, may probably have them as well. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. However, I will probably be Googling it. So you guys might as well just Google it yourself. If you guys have any disease requests, I could totally check it out. Even though I don't make these videos very often. I'm hoping to, but currently not very often. And if you haven't, you can subscribe. I'm not going to tell you to. Yeah. See y'all.